All right, guys, what is up? It is your least favorite moto vlogger here, Brian636. And for the first time ever, I'm gonna be talking about just that, moto vlogging. So I know this is not really a crazy video or anything like that, but I feel like I've got enough questions over the years on what I really do to record my voice while I'm riding at whatever speeds. Um, a couple of people like the way it sounds. It sounds clearer than what they're trying to do. So I figured what a better time to do it than when I'm transferring pretty much all the things I utilize to do that from one helmet to a new one. As you know, a couple uh, weeks ago, almost a month now, I went down. So I always like to change out a helmet after a crash, as you should, because uh, the frame is damaged inside. And I've been running with uh, these Bell Race Stars for a long, long time now, and I absolutely love them. Having a lightweight helmet, when you throw this much gear on it already, helps in the long run. Your neck will thank you, believe me. So I'm basically going to be running us through how to install all this stuff, what it is, links to a lot of it. And uh, we're gonna outfit this new helmet to go make a moto vlog, hopefully here tomorrow. And if I could ask, please uh, go ahead and hit that like button for me down there. And if you're new here, please do subscribe. Really do appreciate all you guys. Let's get into setting up this helmet. Okay, I got the camera set up on the tripod there. Hopefully the echo isn't too bad. I know I'm in my kitchen. It's literally like 10 degrees out. So wanted to bring this to you guys because I'm hopefully gonna go and make a moto vlog soon. So this is the old helmet. I'm gonna be leaving a couple of these old parts on it that I'm not gonna use and uh, basically break down what we're gonna need to set up a moto vlog setup. Most riders will mount a GoPro on their helmet and uh, it'll record their riding and everything like that, but you're not gonna really hear what they're saying inside their helmet unless you have a microphone within it. So for a GoPro Hero, I think five, six, seven, eight, and uh, I believe even nine, I'm not a thousand percent sure, Nine might have a different one, like an internal um, microphone adapter, but for the five, six, seven, and eight, um, this is the microphone adapter that you need. It's a little bit bulky, it's a little bit cumbersome, but it goes into the charging port there on your GoPro Hero, and uh, you basically mount it on the side of your helmet like that, and that's basically what you need just to hook up a microphone to your GoPro. So in addition to this microphone adapter, you're of course gonna need a microphone. This is a 3.5 millimeter giant squid microphone. It's way longer than what you ever would need uh, for in a helmet. It's made for a lapel mic, so you know, like something that you put on your t-shirt like that, and uh, you can hear yourself talk, or you re record a phone conversation or whatever, um, this is it. I'll go ahead and link that down in the description for you. 3.5 millimeter giant squid microphone. I guess I'll start off with installing that first. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and remove the cheek pads on the new Bell Raystar helmet. Put those to the side, we're not gonna need those for a little while. Come into the inside of the helmet, and you see these right here, they're like styrofoam little plugs. Go ahead and take those out. These are for your music or for your microphone or whatever you're installing. Just gives you that extra little room. I'm gonna go ahead and start installing the microphone for the GoPro in the helmet. We'll just slide that up front there. Um, we're always gonna run the microphone for the GoPro at least on the right side. The way our cable exits on the left side, so your clutch side. Now that we got the little auxiliary cord coming out of the left side of your helmet, we'll go ahead and grab our microphone adapter. Plug that in, give us a little bit of a rough idea of where it's gonna actually mount up here. Or you could use your old helmet if you're doing a swap. And I like to use this 3M double-sided Velcro tape. Um, it's reusable, it can go on and off there like a million times. And just go ahead and cut a pretty small piece, I don't know, about this big. Bada bing, bada boom. Come on here and just stick it on. Make sure you're pressing on there real good. Go ahead, click that into place, and boom, our microphone and microphone adapter are on. Now next up is of course our GoPro, because you need that to be able to record. And how I like to hold on my GoPro is uh, these, these are called chin mounts. You can get them at chinmounts.com. Uh, Go ahead and use my code Brian636. I think it gives you like 20% off or something like that too. And uh, they work really well, I've been using them for a long time now. And uh, yeah, they come with double-sided stick tape and you just go ahead and press it onto the chin. Each of these is uh, formulated for a specific helmet, so this angle and stuff like that is um, designed for this Bell Race Star to be right here, which is really cool. So once we got that removed, you're gonna go in here and make sure it's, it's either clean or if it's a new one, you don't gotta worry as much about it, but go ahead, center it up right to where you want it. I like to run it right around there and then press really hard for like, I don't know, a minute or two. Just make sure it's got a good seal to that helmet. Starting to look more and more like a motovlogging helmet now. We'll come in here, of course, throw the GoPro on the case. I like to just run the, the stock case. I don't like anything crazy. Just a stock case with this little side piece off, of course, for the microphone. 
and uh, a little J hooker in 90. Just like that. GoPro is on, plug in our GoPro, make sure you got that fitment good. Now, if you've ever seen me at a ride or anything like that, I always like to have a misguided sticker on the back. We sell these over on our website in packs. I think they're like five bucks. Um, if you guys are interested, I'll leave that down in the description. Just like this. Now we look like we know what we're doing. Now the last little thing I need is uh, is my Lexan. I love riding with this, it's great. It lets me accept phone calls, listen to music. Um, it has a microphone of itself as well as earbuds. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. And uh, yeah, that should sum it up. So let's go ahead and throw this thing on there. So just like everything else, of course, I like to have it on the left side. Basically just cause it's not the throttle side and the GoPro, you kind of have to run it on the left side and you'll just take it, pull out the outside liner, slide this in. Now we're gonna tighten this up with a little Allen wrench here. Not really hard. The last thing we're installing is the headset, um, earpiece on either side with the mic, super easy. Throw this in. All right guys, so we have the Lexan on, we have the microphone adapter and our GoPro on our brand new Race Star. Now we can go ahead, take off the protective lens and boom, we got a brand new Motovlog set up here. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, any useful information, anything like that, go ahead, drop your comments down below. If you have any questions, I do my best to answer them. All the products can be found down in the description. If you're new here, make sure that it's a the subscribe button. And as always, respect life is your least favorite motor vlogger. Signing off. Love y'all. Peace.